Tell us about the primary responsibilities of a phlebotomist and what a typical day looks like. A phlebotomist uh, main responsibility is to collect blood specimens from patients for laboratory testing. We also process blood specimens as well as urine and stool specimens from patients for transport to the laboratory. A typical day for a phlebotomist really depends on where you work. Some of our phlebotomists work in the hospital and they go to patient rooms and collect blood. Those phlebotomists also go to the emergency department, they might go to the trauma room, they might go to a dialysis center to draw blood. Uh, we have phlebotomists who go to nursing homes and collect blood as well. Another thing that we have at Wellspin are outpatient collection sites and that's a place where a patient comes that wants to have their blood drawn and they take a number and wait in line to have their blood drawn and that's all that they can have done at that location. Can you tell us a little bit about the kind of person that you've seen be successful as a phlebotomist? Phlebotomists are usually real people people. They're someone who really enjoys talking to people and who can help patients feel more comfortable during the phlebotomy procedure. Cust customer service is very important uh, for phlebotomists and because they are the people from the laboratory who our patients meet most often and who can have the most imp impact on the reputation of the laboratory. What kind of education and training is needed to become a phlebotomist and about how long does it take? The educational requirement for a phlebotomist is a high school diploma or GED. In addition to that, you'd also have to have a phlebotomy training program course. At Wellspan, our phlebotomy training program is seven weeks long, and during that time, you would come from Monday through Friday, eight hours a day for those seven weeks. That time includes approximately 60 hours of classroom time and 160 hours of clinical training. That means working with patients as well as uh, some time shadowing other people who work in the laboratory. If a student is thinking about a career as a phlebotomist, what kind of courses would be helpful for them to take in high school? English or communication skills are very important for a phlebotomist. As I said, they are the frontline people who meet our patients and you have to be able to communicate with them. We also need to be able to give patients information about specimen collection as well as collect information from the patients in order to do patient billing and laboratory order entry. Science is also important for a phlebotomist, especially biology, because most of the tests um, have names that are derived from um, biological terms. Medical terminology is a big part um, of your job as a phlebotomist, and it helps to be familiar with those kind of terms. What's the outlook for this career? Good, skilled phlebotomists are always in demand, and because phlebotomy or collecting the specimens from patients is not something that can really be automated, I think that they'll continue to be in demand. It's very hard um, to get blood from people. You have to do it one-on-one -on -one and you have to take each patient as they come. So I think it's a skill that's going to be very valuable for a long time. Can you tell us why you went down this path? I'm a medical technologist. I worked in a laboratory for about 25 years before I decided to take this job training phlebotomists. Because laboratory testing requires us to have good specimens from the patients, I was happy to take a job that would help to ensure that process. So when I train a phlebotomist, it's important to me to make sure they know all the requirements for the specimen so that when they're not only collecting the specimen but processing it, they're able to do it correctly so that we can get good laboratory results. Another thing I wanted to add is that some of our phlebotomists do become phlebotomists and work as phlebotomists while they are in school for another healthcare career. Some of our phlebotomists are studying nursing, respiratory therapy, or like myself, they're studying to become a medical technologist or clinical laboratory scientist. Although not all of our phlebotomists are on their way to another career, it does provide some of the turnover that we have. Another reason why people choose to be a phlebotomist is that usually there's someone who really likes to work with people, and especially they like to feel like they're helping people. And when we collect specimens for laboratory testing, we're helping patients to get the medical treatment that they need.